fundamental characteristic of a DC signal is the absence of changes in polarity. If you connect a DC voltage signal to a resistor, the resulting current will always flow in the same direction. Some people might associate the term DC with voltages or currents that are completely stable and constant. However, this is not the case. First, voltages are never perfectly constant because all signals include noise. Second, some DC signals cover a wide range of amplitudes because they are influenced by highly variable external conditions. We use the word noise to identify undesired and usually small variations in voltage and current. All signals contain noise because it is generated by inescapable physical processes. When we say that a DC signal has an amplitude of 5 volts, we really mean that the average amplitude or the desired amplitude is 5 volts. If you carefully measure this signal, you will see that the amplitude is constantly moving above and below 5 volts. It's not surprising to learn that engineers prefer signals with smaller amounts of noise, but noise amplitude itself is less important than the amplitude of the noise relative to the amplitude of the signal. This is referred to as signal to noise ratio, abbreviated SNR, and is an indication of signal quality. One very common type of noise found in DC voltages is the ripple generated by switch mode regulators. The word ripple refers to small periodic variations associated with the regulator's on-off switching action. This measured signal exhibits switching ripple as well as two other types of noise. Sensors commonly generate DC voltage or current signals that allow us to monitor, analyze, and record physical conditions and aspects of the surrounding environment. Conditions such as humidity, light intensity, and absolute temperature are highly variable but unipolar. For example, light intensity cannot be lower than zero. And the voltage or current produced by the sensor is therefore a DC signal. We've already seen that DC voltages are used to supply electrical power for electronic circuitry and to represent changes in physical variables. DC quantities also appear in the following applications. DC current limited by a resistor causes light emitting diodes to produce light. Mechanical and electronic switches can deliver large amounts of DC control current to motors, solenoids, and resistive heaters. And DC currents and voltages establish the electrical conditions that allow transistors to amplify AC signals. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.